And we're back once again with Warren to chat a little bit more. Again, the, uh, the uh, documentary, The Walk Off, will premiere on June 30th, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, and you're, you're going to Omaha, uh, just like a minute ago you told us, on uh, Father's Day. Yeah, to so see the premiere. and I, I've actually never been to the new stadium for yeah. a College World Series game. So, you know, wish my Tigers were there, but it'll right. be fun to go to the game and, and, and see because, you know, we played at the old stadium at Rosenblatt. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the people in Omaha do a great job with the World Series. Um, you know, everybody will be watching. So that's going to be fun just to be a part of the atmosphere. How long will you be in Omaha? Uh, we're going to get there on Sunday, and they're actually going to have the premiere of the movie. Uh, Skip Bertman will be with yeah, you. Yeah, he'll be there with us on uh, Wednesday afternoon is when that premiere is there mm -hmm. in Omaha, and uh, we'll come back Thursday. Gotcha. You mentioned something about it being like a car wash. Explain to us the whole process of what you're going to experience That's when you're, when yeah, you're, when going. you're going to go to Charlotte. Yeah. Right. Yeah, um, I think normally before they air the documentary, they get you to come out to their SEC Network studios in Charlotte, North mm -hmm. Carolina, and uh, they call it the car wash, where you just go through all the live shows and they kind of talk a little bit about it. So, uh, wow, I don't know what to expect with that, but yeah. uh, that'll, that'll be, be neat fun. just You'll to see all those, the different shows and the Paul Feinbaum and all those guys. What a there. life experience for I you know, and your family. Really. I assume your, your wife will be joining you. Yeah, so that'll be a fun trip. Yeah. Too, yes, right? absolutely. More than people forget also, after the College World Series ended, you went over to Atlanta to compete right. in the Olympics, and you had a great Olympic. Yeah, playing with the Team USA. Yeah, no, it was. A, that's a dream come true to represent your country. Oh, and, sure. uh, you know, we, we had a great, uh, great Olympics there in Atlanta. We mm -hmm. didn't quite win the gold, but we won the bronze medal. And, uh, yeah. you know, in that same summer, get drafted to play professional baseball. What a summer so for you. It was. Uh, <laughs> it's like a dream come true. <laughs> it was. Um, going back to the game, the championship game, uh, that was a year kind of the, of the home run for right. college baseball. And ironically, there was not a home run in that championship game until you hit the game winning. Yeah, game. and in the, the old stadium in, uh, in Omaha was, was kind of sitting up on a hill, and a lot of days the wind would blow out. But that particular day, it was blowing in pretty hard. And, huh. and actually, Miami had a situation with the bases loaded, and their power hitter, Pat Burrell, mm -hmm. hit a ball that, I mean, really normally would have been out would have for a grand slam, but it was caught at the warning track. Uh -huh. So the wind was blowing in. So again, uh, another shock that my ball went out. But I guess because mine was hit a little lower, yep. <laughs> it got through on somehow. And, and you hit it hard. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, glad it, it did get just over that fence. Well, you did have a, a, um, several college major leagues you attended afterwards. Tell us a little, walk us through that. What were your major league yeah, experiences? Yeah, I'm blessed to play nine years of pro ball and yep. uh, so played in the big leagues for the Pirates, the Twins, and the Tigers. Um, so yeah, just a, you know, for a kid that grew up playing Little League in Alexandria mm -hmm. and, and coming on up uh, to see myself on baseball cards and, and now to look back and, and be a former major leaguer, I yeah. mean, just more than I would have ever if you'd have told me to write out my story. This it, the you real really life was much of the better. Year, I believe. Yeah, Your third and rookie of the yep. year. So it, it was it was uh, a, a great career and you know something I can look back on. You know, obviously I don't live in the past, so you know now I'm a dad and father and uh -huh. get to be a member of the community here. Sure. But uh, just he's got just, three daughters like I do, and he was asking for some <laughs> advice earlier. I, yeah, I, I bet couldn't you, give him any. <laughs> I, I, bet I know mine tomorrow. haven't reached teenage years yet. Oh, good so luck, Warren. Yeah, <laughs> you will. You'll call me then. I will. A local legend right here in Central Louisiana. Oh. Oh, well, thank you, Warren. Thanks for dropping by again. Uh, the documentary, uh, the walk off air. Uh, premieres, I believe, June 30th, correct? That's correct. You yeah. can watch it, I believe, on the a SEC Network. Right, 8 o'clock on June 30th. Right. Thanks again, Warren. Well, thank you thank for Thank you for stopping me. in, Warren. We enjoyed well, it. thank you. Have fun in Omaha, too. And more to come. Stay with us.